Good morning everyone. Start where you are. Use what you have and do what you can. Happy Sunday. The daily text. It is the 17th Sunday after Trinity. Our faith is the victory that overcomes the world. 1 John 5 verse 4. Sunday 26 September. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. Psalm 146 verse 8. I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you. Ephesians 1 verse 18. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, on this day of worship, we pray for spiritual sight so that we may know the way to holiness, love and hope of salvation by grace and faith in Jesus. We pray for workers to bring in the harvest of souls for redemption. Amen. May your Sunday be blessed with love, joy, peace and happiness. Happy Sunday. Good morning and a happy belated Heritage Day to all. When I think about Heritage Day in South Africa and what my heritage means to me, I think of the values, the beliefs and the traditions that make me who I am. And I also think of how lucky I am to live in a country so rich in diversity where I can learn and experience other cultures and their heritage on a daily basis. And so I encourage you today to embrace your heritage, to learn more about it and to be proud of it and acknowledge that these very beliefs and traditions have been brought down from generation to generation and you get to be part of it. in a manner where I am currently at the wedding. So I actually want to use that as an example. Heritage is legacies that is set behind and traditions that is followed. So for example, I'm at the wedding now 
and there's many different ways of doing a wedding but there's only one proper way of doing things and that's just the example that I'm using so in general when we look at legacies we look at what our grandparents our forefathers our ancestors have left um, behind for us our legacies are not just there to look at but to actually live on so also coming back to the Bible there were certain models that we were taught within the Bible and in today's life um, those trends are not always visible so I want to encourage everyone that the trend that we should be following is the trend of the Bible that's a tradition that is set out a legacy that set out and it's laws that was set out year, many many years ago that I personally feel we should still follow so heritage comes with setting out some laws leaving legacies behind and actually living it on so from me to you guys happy heritage day Good afternoon all, um, today I would just like to do a word of encouragement of heritage. Our heritage means so a lot to us if we look in South Africa as a whole and as well as in Cape Town. We should be inspired. Um, on Friday we celebrated the Heritage Day which means so a lot if we look at our cultures, our different diversities which means a lot. Um, we have the most beautiful heritage sites in Cape Town in South Africa as a whole so we should always take care of our heritage and never let that go always take care of it because our heritage means so a lot to us so we should be inspired the future, the future generations I'm talking about the youth um, we should we should always take care we should learn about our heritage because it means so a lot to us as a, to be a South African it makes me so proud if, if I talk about the Rainbow Nation so today I just wanted to encourage you always take care of our heritage learn about it we have the most beautiful heritage in South Africa so so um, be inspired so today I'm wearing a Springbox t-shirt as you can see so we should always be inspired by our rainbow nation so i would just like to leave you with that word today thank you may the hands of god sustain you the smile of god enlighten you the words of god inspire you and the love of god forever and ever bless you may this day be filled with warmth happiness and gratitude happy heritage day